but Sirius was also associated with the Egyptian goddess Isis. And here, as we connect the dots, a more complete picture begins to emerge. For the Egyptians, the rising of Sirius in the east preceded the annual flooding of the Nile River, which for them was a magical event. It was also the time that the goddess Isis would appear and give birth to Horus, the divine child of the Egyptian trinity. The all-seeing eye is also called the Eye of Horus, and in Freemasonry, Horus symbolizes the Masonic concept of a Christ. This is further represented by the hieroglyph used to denote Sirius. Notice the three symbols, an obelisk, a star, and a half circle. According to Egyptologists, the half circle is used to denote what is called the Benben, or the capstone used atop the pyramids. Throughout all history, it has been said that the capstone to the Great Pyramid of Egypt has been missing, which is why the all-seeing eye of Horus floats in its place above the pyramid on the back of the dollar bill. According to occult philosophers, the light which illuminates the eye comes not from the sun, but from the dog star Sirius, as is demonstrated by this illustration of the blazing star of masonry centered by an all-seeing eye. As Robert Balville writes, in many esoteric traditions, the return of the capstone of the Great Pyramid will signal the return of the Great Initiate, which, according to many prophecies, signifies the return of the Christ. Albert Pike describes the Masonic Trinity as expressed through Sirius, and the symbols that are seen in most all Masonic halls. Notice this image with the sun on one side and the moon on the other, while the all-seeing eye sits in between with light blazing behind it. Pike writes that the sun and moon represent the two grand principles, the male and the female. Both shed their light upon their offspring, the blazing star or Horus.